I love the children. I've always loved the children. I tell people all the time, I will be teaching in heaven. That's what you hear when you listen to the staff and volunteers at the Steli J. Jackson Enrichment Center in Clover. On the surface, it's an after-school tutoring program for kids struggling in school. But look deeper. I always had a vision after I retired from teaching. I had a vision of working with children more. I think I retired too early. <laughs> the center is named for a local pastor, a man who embraced the task of elevating the black community, and in turn, the community as a whole. He was the first to serve on the school board, first black to ever serve on the school board. And he's done a number of things that people, that was important to unite us and help us, especially as black citizens. Four days a week, the bus brings third through fifth graders here to not only better themselves in school, but as people and future leaders. Billy Burris says it's counseling, encouraging, and listening every bit as much as tutoring. You'd be surprised at the baggage they come with that's not their own, that's not their own. So we have to deal with them and truly, truly encourage them. The great work the Enrichment Center is doing is also motivational to District 2 Councilwoman Allison Love. She donated County Council discretionary funding to the center. When I give somebody funding, a little bit of funding from York County, I want it to go as far as it can possibly go. And I believe that the funding that, that I gave to the Stelly J. Jackson Enrichment Center, it helps the people whose hearts are in this, but the long term of it is it helps the kids that are here after school and, and to me, that reaches so many more people. After 12 years of serving the children of Clover Schools, the center is always full. They hope to expand and take in more children, improving the life of every child who steps off that school bus.